Top-down estimates are used during project initiation to develop a quick estimate in order to determine if the project is feasible, to calculate funding requirements, and to determine the resources needed to complete the project. Top-down methods are not always as accurate as bottom-up methods, but they are usually much easier to calculate. In this video, we'll cover analogous estimating, parametric estimating, learning curves, and function point analysis. Analogous estimating involves comparing a proposed project to a similar past project in order to estimate the duration or cost. Say that at some point in the past we had produced a project involving creation of a telephone. If this project cost $2,000 and took a month in order to complete the telephone and a, another customer comes to us with a request to complete a similar telephone, we can tell them it'll take a month and cost about $2,000. Analogous estimating only works when we're comparing apples to apples and oranges to oranges. So if our customer comes to us and wants us to produce a telephone that's more like a smartphone, it's not necessarily going to work to use an analogous estimate. So it's very important for the project manager to use their expert judgment to make sure that an analogous estimate is appropriate. Parametric estimating involves calculating our estimates based on industry benchmarks. A good example of this is from the construction industry. Let's say that we produce a house for a customer. It's 2,500 square feet and it costs $100,000 to construct. So on average, it's $40 per square foot. If we then have another customer ask us to produce a house for them that's 2,000 square foot, and as long as the conditions are equivalent and the material is uh, equivalent, we can then use that $40 per square foot to estimate that this house is going to cost $80,000 to produce. There are lots of different uh, types of data out there about construction costs in different areas. So for example, if we were even considering a big hospital project, we could go find the data on how much it costs per square foot. In this case, we're looking at $318 per square foot using union labor or $296 using a uh, open shop or non-union labor. And we can estimate then exactly how many millions of dollars it would take to construct this hospital. Learning curves are based on the concept that the more times the task has been performed, the less time will be required on each subsequent iteration. So projects where we have tasks that are repeated several times throughout the life of the project will benefit from a learning curve. So as the number of units produced doubles, the learning curve can be calculated and we can, over time, begin to understand for a particular task what kind of increase in productivity we can expect for future projects. A function point is the amount of functionality of an information system as a product, or we can also look at this as the functions that have to be performed by a particular piece of software. As such, function points are a measure of a software size. Function point analysis looks at the number of functions that are going to be contained within an information system, the number of things that must be programmed into the software, if you will. When we're conducting a function point analysis, we would add up the total number of functions within different categories. In this case, we're looking at categories in the external inputs, external outputs, external inquiries, and internal logic files. We're taking the number of those times their complexity to give us a total number of function points. Then using historical benchmarks, we can calculate out how long it's going to take to program this piece of software given the number of function points and their complexity in the program. In this case, if one function point is the equivalent to eight hours of work in the C++ language, then our project is going to take approximately 640 hours to complete. 
So it's a quick summary of the top-down estimation techniques used in project management. Analogous estimation, parametric estimation, learning curves, and function point analysis. These macro techniques are usually used during project initiation. When we're doing more detailed project planning, often a bottom-up or micro estimation technique will be employed to get a more accurate estimate of the time and resources required for our project.